not a dry skin cell in sight. I think deodorant just needs to have aluminum, okay? Hi, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my empties. We're going to be talking about skincare empties, makeup empties, hair care empties, everything that I've emptied. I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm so excited. If you want to check out more of my empties, make sure to watch the last one that I made and also check out my playlist, both of which I'll link down below. I love empties because they are the best product reviews in my opinion because you've used up a product all the way for it to be empty, which means that you have the most experience with it since you've used it from the beginning to the end. So you're getting the good, the bad, the ugly, you're getting full experience with it. And I also love empties because with empties I get to show you what I'm loving, what I'm hating. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed this while you're watching, make sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and please chat with me in the comments. I want to know what you've emptied. I want to know what you've been loving, what you've been hating. I want to know what you've been using for your body care. I want to know what your lotion is. I want to know. And I'm about to share all of that with you. So let's get started. It's so much. <laughs> I'm glad that it's so much because for a second there, I was getting kind of worried. I have a few empties from my project pan, which I'm really excited about. I'll just be going through this kind of randomly. Ooh, first let's start with a makeup empties. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Mint Color Corrector. I hopped on the color corrector train not that long ago. I've been using this as a mixer. I've used this every day and I've had this for a good while, I want to say that I've had this since, I want to say around December, and it's all the way used up. I haven't used a product that quickly in a really long time. This was fantastic. The formula of this is great. It combines with pretty much everything. I've been mixing this with my Revlon Colorstay concealer, but it also works with a lot of other things. And the applicator just makes it so easy to mix it with anything. So if you find that you have a foundation or a concealer that's not matching you properly. This applicator is perfect. I swipe the mint all over all over the spots where I put my concealer or foundation. And since it's a mint color, it lightens it and the green tone neutralizes orangey colors. So if there's a foundation that's a little too warm, a mint will help. They also have blue, purple, yellow, pink, so many colors. I really appreciate the LA Girl variety. I could not more highly recommend this. I've already repurchased this. So, so good. I'm going to keep singing the phrases of this, so yes. The next empty I have here is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. This is fantastic. This is the clear. I really, really enjoyed this. This is the third bottle of this that I have used up. I use this pretty quickly because I had this in my everyday makeup bag and I haven't been liking the sunscreen that's in my project pan lately. So this one pretty much disappeared. The formula of this is beautiful. It's very glowy. It sinks into the skin. It's not mattifying, but it dries down to a nice finish and it sticks to the skin and it actually applies beautifully over makeup as well. So I highly recommend this sunscreen. It's kind of hard to get on Amazon, but um, Stylevana and Yes Style offer a lot of deals and discounts on this. If you found a site to get this very easily, please let me know. Next here I have the Dove Body Wash in the Cherry and Chia Milk scent. I got this on recommendation from LPS Mochi. She commented on a couple of my videos and in one comment she said that she loves the bar soap version of this and it just sounded so good. So she uses this bar soap and, ooh, wait, let me check. So she uses the Dove Cherry Bar Soap and the Bath & Body Works Cotton Candy Clouds Lotion and she uses the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Perfume on top. The combination of that sounds like it smells absolutely delicious and delightful. So I tried this out. The scent is so good. It's cherry, but it's soft. It's not too sweet, not too overwhelming, but it's still there and I really enjoyed it. I love the scent. The formula is not my favorite. Um, it does have a nice lather. It's got like a tiny bubbles lather and it's got a great gel texture. 
I need something a little bit more moisturizing. I think this is still a great body wash and I'm gonna go back to my other ones, but I definitely would really consider picking this up again if I needed a little more cherry in my life. And I'm so glad that LPS, thank you so much LPS Moshi, I know. <laughs> thank you so much for recommending that because it has been a great experience. Thank you. Here I have the Head and Shoulders Apple Cider Vinegar 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. And I really have enjoyed this. So when I was using a ton of products, I just found my scalp getting a little dandruffy, you know, and Head and Shoulders is I think the go-to to take care of dandruff. And I got the apple cider vinegar scent because I think it smells actually pretty good. And I really like this for clarifying all the product off my scalp because when I'm using serum, leave-ins, gels, mousses, all like all that jazz, just an entire, just like so many concoctions. When I wash my hair, I need to make sure that I'm getting all of it off. And this has really helped with that. So I'll alternate between using this when things are looking like they really need a deep clean. I finished off this other product and it made this even more necessary. But I think this is a great shampoo to clarify. And if you find that you're getting a little bit of scalp dryness, if you're getting flakiness, I think that this one's great. The experience of using this was really good and I would highly recommend. Oh, right here. So when I ran out of this product, I was flying through my head and shoulders apple cider vinegar two-in-one so <laughs> here I have the not your mother's curl talk scalp care cleansing oil so this smells so good I really love the applicator it made it so easy to use so it has this applicator so before washing my hair what I would do is I would brush my hair out and apply this with the little tip along along the parts and sections and I would massage it all in it smelled like peppermint it was like it was a little tingly it doesn't bother me too bad um it doesn't bother me at all I actually find it very refreshing on my scalp so I would just like massage that in get it wet make sure to massage it all in and lather if I felt like I needed a little more I would shampoo again but honestly this is so one and done I didn't find that I needed to shampoo after this very often. So I would recommend, I've been missing this very much and I need to repurchase, so would recommend. I'm also interested in hearing more of your recommendations for cleansing oil. One of my friends has recommended the scalp cleansing oil from Melanin Hair Care and I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna pick that one up next. Ooh, here we have another makeup item. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. I have used so many of these mascaras. The wand is just so good. I much prefer the oversized mascara now, the oversized Bambi Eye version of this, but this is just such, ooh, crusty. But this applicator is just great. I love the wide eye effect it gives to the lashes. I'm using the oversized, which flares out more on the end, so I feel like I get the wide eye more on the edges of my, more towards the outer corner of my lashes, but with the Bambi eye, it really focuses and volumizes, especially in the center of the eye, which gives that doe eye look. So I would repurchase. I would have highly recommend purchasing this. Ooh. Another body care item, I have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Heals, Softens, Daily Skin Therapy Lotion. This is so good. When I finished this up, I was so sad. I immediately ran out to look for another one. I couldn't find one. So as soon as it came back in stock, I picked it up. And this, since it's cocoa butter based, it smells like cocoa so you smell like chocolate and it is just so yummy it's like a thicker yellow cream and it just seeps into the skin so nicely oh this is so so good I think I've tried like samples of high-end body moisturizers and none of them have come close to this except for maybe another one but in terms of moisturizing and like the experience like 
I think this was somewhere around seven dollars you could tell me that it cost 40 and I would be like yeah I believe that and yeah I would try to buy it on sale <laughs> Still worth it still worth it it's so good so I highly recommend this this really helped my dry elbows and knees but I used it all over and my skin was so soft I hugged my aunt she was like oh my gosh your arms are so soft like everyone was just like okay soft glowing moisturized not a dry skin cell in sight because this had taken care of it one of the empties from my project pan is the Maui moisture alapui and shine Shine and Awapui Conditioner for Drawl Hair. This one was pretty good. I recommend the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Conditioner instead, the one in the purple bottle. It smells really good. It wasn't as moisturizing as the Heal and Hydrate version. And I think this one may be discontinued, but it was pretty good, but I wouldn't repurchase even if it was discontinued, even if it was not discontinued. But I do still like a lot of Maui Moisture's products. I would honestly get the Heal and Hydrate Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. That one was magnifique. Another body wash. Here is the Nivea Refreshing Body Wash in the Basil and White Tea Scent. This one has to be a household favorite. It's just so good. It lathers nicely. It's still kind of moisturizing. It doesn't strip your skin at all. The scent is that of a spa. I've raved about this many, 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 many times before in previous empties. Mm, the scent is just relaxing and luxurious and high-end. I've purchased this on Ulta's website and I've also purchased this on Amazon, but I'm so bummed because Walmart used to stock this in the store and they don't any longer and I'm so upset about it, but it is still worth the hassle to get it. Here I have the Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi-Oil Body Wash. This one is so, so, so good. I purchased this on recommendation from the Tiara Willis on Twitter. I've been following her since 2017 and she's never let me down. All of her recommendations are so good. This body wash is great because it pump like packaging is so cute. It pumps out, it's a thinnish oil, but this in combination with exfoliating gloves, all ooh, so good. And this Formula I think is really great to mix with other things. So we have the La Roche-Posay Ethoclear Cleanser, the Salicylic Acid Cleanser. When I'm feeling like I need some extra exfoliation, when I do these mixtures, I use a washcloth instead of the gloves because I don't want to scrub myself into the next millennia. But this with the salicylic acid and a washcloth just gently... I'm a new person after that. Since it has the squalene and the glycerin and linoleic rich oils, I don't feel stripped. I used to think that to be clean after a wash, you have to be like squeaky clean, which usually meant dr super dry, but this cleanses and moisturizes at the same time. It's delightful. So, and this is also my fiance's favorite. We've already gone through two and we've repurchased more. It's really good. Ooh, here I have the Vanna Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This moisturizer is great because this is basically like the plainest form of moisturizer you can find. Or at least this is the plainest form of moisturizer that I have found that really helps me. There is hyaluronic acid in this, so I do make sure to apply this on a freshly misted face. I just mist my face with water and then apply this. It's nice and thin, it's very boring, no serious actives, even though it has the hyaluronic acid and ceramides. And it's just a nice neutral base to keep my skin not doing too much because I don't want to wear my skin out by use, overusing actives. This just feels like I'm doing something good for my skin. The texture of it is like this nice, it's, it's like, I want to say it's a gel, but it's like a little bit thicker. It just feels really nice going on. I purchased this at Target and I have, um, this is my second time repurchasing it and I would highly recommend, re I would highly recommend purchasing. No, this is probably, this was probably my third or fourth time purchasing this and I really enjoy it. A little goes a long way. It keeps my skin looking so good. I really enjoy this. Okay, here I have the Kerastase Curl Manifesto Lightweight Moisture Replenishing Conditioner for curly and very curly hair. 
I have enjoyed this. I purchased this from my hairstylist, Ashton Atelier. I purchased this from my hairstylist. She's the best. Ashton, thank you so much for selling this to me. I have enjoyed it. I think it's a great lightweight moisturizer. I much prefer the mask over this, but when I'm going to heat style my hair, I want to moisturize my hair, but I don't want it to be super heavy because when I'm heat styling, I don't want to be oily the next day. I don't want to be oily two days later. And this has helped with that. I think the mask and the leave-in conditioner are a better combo. If I had money like that, I would repurchase this. It's not a must to me, but I would still repurchase it. And honestly, a little goes a long way. I've had this for a, almost a year and I think it's pretty fantastic. Ooh, okay. Here I have the Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid, Prickly Pear, and Coconut Oil. So this I've emptied, but I actually refilled this mini one. I purchased the big one, which was a little bit pricey, but I used my Ulta Points, so feeling pretty proud of myself. And the scent of this is delicious. It smells like pear and brown sugar. This smells like the most sophisticated brown sugar pear tart. I'm going to be traveling with this. I liked this so much that I purchased the big size. If you can smell this in store, I would recommend doing so. I got this deluxe sample size. I think this is the deluxe sample size. Yeah, because it's an ounce. It's 1.4 ounces. I got this in an Ulta sampler, like a gift free gift with purchase. And Usually I like look at those and I'm like, oh, okay, like maybe, maybe I'll keep some, maybe I'll like give some away. And this, I definitely had to keep for myself and I re-upped. Mm. I was being really precious with this, but then when Mike, um, then when Michael and I went to Hawaii, I was being really precious with this, but then when Michael and I went to Hawaii, I slathered my from tip to toe in this and now every time I smell it I think of Hawaii and it was just marvelous so oh, and I love how every time like with scent memory every time I smell it I think of that and yeah it's just so good I have another project pan empty and this is the Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing oil makeup remover with anti-wrinkle technology all that stuff I would not repurchase. It was fine. It didn't remove all my makeup. This is for if you only wear sunscreen, I think. The difference that I noticed when I went from this to the BHC cleansing oil, tremendous. I'm intrigued to try more Peter Thomas Roth products, but I need something that breaks everything down. And unfortunately this didn't do that for me. So kind of a bummer, but I did purchase this during the Ulta 21 days of skin, 21 days of skincare, 21 days of sale. Usually I don't care for a lot of those sales. I'm just like, okay, boring. I want makeup. I want makeup on sale and I want hot new makeup on sale. Doesn't always happen, but I was intrigued with this. At first we fell in love and then we grew apart. I do have some dental empties. I'll go through these quickly because I know that these are not as exciting, but it is still and very important to take care of your teeth. And here I have the Equate Antiseptic Mouth Rinse. In my last empties, I think I updated, I recently found out that alcohol-free mouthwash does not do anything for gingivitis or any kind of gum disease. And I could not have that because I need to take care of my gums. So. I purchased this. It was stinging, but that was a not so gentle reminder that I am taking care of my gums and from me to you, make sure you're taking care of your gums because it is astounding how important your gums and gums and dental, gums and dental sounds like incidental. The health of your gums and your teeth is integral to the rest of your body and it's absolutely well, wow. earth shattering to me and that's why it blows my mind that like dental and eye insurance. Anyway, your teeth are important. Take care of them. I also finished Colgate Max Fresh. This is minty. I don't really care for these like blue gel with the, not flags, but like the strips, breath strips. 
I don't I don't care for those that much, but it's over. I did feel like a cool fire breathing dragon, like with fresh breath, but kind of spicy in my opinion. As someone who's like, I don't like, I don't like spearmint spice. I just don't. Anyway, I also finished a Crest 3D White Stain Eraser Fresh Mint. I think I got this at the dollar store. I've enjoyed this. I try not to use too much whitening toothpaste because I have a terrible habit of brushing my teeth too hard and I don't want to brush my teeth and gums away. But when I feel like maybe my teeth need a little something, but I don't feel like pulling out teeth whitening strips, this has helped. I have a deodorant review and this is the Suave Fresh Vibes Awesome Blossom Deodorant. So in the past I've talked about like, ooh, I think deodorant just needs to have aluminum, okay? <laughs> or maybe I haven't said that, but I'm just like, I need my deodorant to be effective no matter what. And I tried this out because I was interested in, I was interested in the packaging. I didn't even know that it was aluminum free until I brought it home, even though it says that right on the sticker. I just was like, oh, that's cute. Blossom. Fresh vibes. Like, they're marketing to the youth. And I am a early to mid-twenties teenager. So, this smells really good. I recommend, well, with all your deodorant, not just like the clear. So, this is a clear deodorant. I recommend with all deodorant to stick the little fresh thingy back on it makes a world of a difference honestly i really enjoy the suave deodorants period specifically tropical paradise it keeps it moisturizing to your underarms which has been particularly helpful with getting waxes because my armpits aren't dry af so i've enjoyed that this i don't think is the most sweat proof but i definitely did not stink i enjoyed that for that it was effective I would consider purchasing it again. If they didn't have my favorite, I would pick this up maybe. Ooh, here I have an E. I keep saying ooh, okay? This is the EOS Shave Butter in the Pomegranate Raspberry. I picked this up because we were traveling and I just wanted a little something that I could travel with. The scent captured my attention. It smells really nice. I don't think this is that great. I really love the Cremo shave cream keeps the skin very slick great for getting a close shave this was nice i would not repurchase this i don't think that i get a very close shave i don't think it's that moisturizing to the legs for like when i'm shaving i honestly just don't think that this is that special like i'm not mad at it but i wouldn't do it again allergy meds because allergies also, I get a I get a coupon on Ibotta. It's ten dollars off a ninety count. Pretty good. I enjoy that. We're getting to the end. So this is the Eucerin Rough and Bumpy Skin Roughness Relief Cream. This is not totally finished, but I want to show you the texture of it, and it's fragrance free. So Tiara Wallace she recommended a different Eucerin cream, but I saw this and I was very intrigued. So I got this and I'll show you a little bit, but basically this is a very thick lotion. It's a urea enriched, which is a exfoliant. This tingles when you put it on. I really like it. So it moisturizes and it chemically exfoliates your skin. I've really been liking this for the backs of my arms because I have keratosis pilaris, like KP bumps, like the chicken skin. I have that and it's also helped with um, like the strawberry bumps, like the strawberry legs or whatever. This helps take down a lot of texture and it's also very moisturizing. So I have really enjoyed this and I will be repurchasing this. I do want to know if and when you use this, you need to make sure that you're using an SP. So I'll, I shower at night, moisturize my body before going to bed, make sure to apply SPF in the morning or after using this and letting it dry, like dry letting it soak in. This is really good. It took me a long, a nice good amount of time to get through this and I still have a little bit left. 
So this is going right back in my shower because I apply moisturizer before leaving the shower. Pro tip, if you have been having a hard time staying moisturized or applying moisturizer, all those things, before you dry off, before you let your skin dry, apply a little moisturizer. This is like really thick, but I have other recommendations in my empties videos. Check out those for lotions you might prefer if you're having a hard time getting into lotion. But yeah, this is really good. Excited to repurchase. Yeah, so I applied it to my hands. I would want to make sure to put on SPF on my hands before like driving or something. Oh, down to my last two things. So I bought this lip oil on a whim. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I was just like, the nostalgia got me. So I purchased the Jaclyn Hill lip oil in the shade Bubble Drip. Used it all the way up. There's not a lot in here, but also I used it up because I really enjoy, first of all, the formula, juicy, thick, glossy. I wouldn't say that it's super sticky. And also the applicator. Oh my gosh, my hands are moisturized, so I can't freaking open these. The applicator on this is delightful. So hopefully you can see that. It is very big. Ooh, there's like a little bit left on there. So yeah, cons, it did not last me very long. Use it up very quickly and it's kind of expensive. This is $20. The applicator is a pro. The formula is a pro. I don't know if I'm gonna be repurchasing this, but just wanted to let you know that I finished it and it's tiny, but yeah. It's done. This is not really quite like an empties, but this is like I used it so much and so hard that it broke and I bought a new one. So this is the Scoonchy, Scoonchy, this is a Scoonchy eight prong octopus claw clip and it's rubberized inside. Doesn't that look kind of like a spider? So I like can't fix it but I've used this for a good long while. I love that like, this is great to have my hair up in the shower. If you have thick hair, if you have hair that just won't stay in a claw clip, this one's fantastic because of the rubberized inside. I really enjoy this. And the shape of it is different. We're seeing a lot of rectangular claw clips right now that are really great, very aesthetic, but this looks different. Like this, that looks more like a bun and it holds a lot of hair. So I really enjoyed it for that. And here's the new one. Look at how cute. Yeah, like, the old one is matte chipped and the new one's all shiny. But yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, just wanted to let you know I, I emptied this, I finished this, it died. But anyway. That is it. That is the last of my empties. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.